The word bump dementia in itself strikes fear in, in anybody. My journey began, I suppose, maybe several years ago. I'm 55 now, and at 40, my early 40s, I recognised that some of my memory of recent things was kind of a bit jittery. Spoke to my GP who told me, your brain is a muscle and if you don't use it, I was at home with the boys at that stage. So I then started exercising my brain, doing puzzles and learning new things. My dad has vascular dementia and there was a course being run in Clonmel for family members and carers of people. And I thought I would like to understand some of what he's going through and, and some of his behaviours, how I could help him. So as I went through the course, I realised that some of the strategies they were telling us to put in place, I was actually already doing. So I spoke to some of the facilitators who explained you go to your GP and you start the ball rolling. There was a lot of fear inside of me. So for about a year I felt I couldn't deal with it and then I thought this is silly. If there is anything you can do to help yourself, um, then just get up and do it. I started with my GP then who would have known me quite well and he would have done the, um, the initial uh, testing in the... In the in the surgery, and um, I miserably failed. So they did a barrage of tests, and this scan came back um, as normal. So in my unmedical mind, I thought because it was normal then, it wasn't Alzheimer's we were talking about. Um, I was called in, I was on my own. There was f four or five people in the room. They had some students in there, and they had the specialist, and this lady from Dublin. And we spent a long time chatting about mild cognitive impairment, which I'd never heard of before. Um, and the word mild kept ringing out in my ears. So I thought, this is fine, I can deal with this, ask them, you know, the usual questions. Until I was going back to my own car. And the original nurse who had done the first assessment said to me, I'm really sorry I wasn't with you for that news. And I was saying, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm collecting one of my sons to bring him to Kilkenny. And she said, no, I was called away, I'm really sorry, how are you? And in that moment I realised either I hadn't heard something or something hadn't been said to me. So I just said, you mean I have Alzheimer's? And she said, yes. 